Hey, good morning guys. It's Lucky Aces here. I figured I'd do a quick little walk around on my 2008 Honda Shadow Aero. And it is a 750, so up front we'll start with the obvious. It's the uh, Memphis Shades fairing. They call it dark smoke, but uh, I don't know. looks pretty regular to me. And if you notice down here, not only do we have the uh, bug graveyard, we also have a front camera. That's uh, from Amazon. It's a Blue Sky C. I got a front and rear camera. The uh, module is actually mounted under the seat. So what that does, I mean, it's set to record all the time. But if there's an impact or something jars the bike, it'll actually save the footage and save that file. It won't write over it. I just figured, you know, as far as the dash cam, something happens, accident, that probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Then, of course, on the tank, we have the Lucky Aces, of course. course. Up here at the cockpit, we have a cheapo phone mount. That also came from Amazon. Voltmeter, because I was having some battery issues last year. Actually, I didn't buy a battery tender and put it on a battery tender. I rectified that, but, you know, at the time I didn't. The uh, mini tachometer, that was super easy to put together. Uh, what is it? Matt Charrington, I believe is his name on YouTube. Actually has a pretty good how-to on how to install that. That took maybe an hour. Maybe two. I can't remember. But that was super simple to do. Handlebars are still the stock bars. Thinking of going with some 12-inch apes. But I've seen a lot of guys use the Z-bars on these arrows, and they look really good as well, so I'm not sure. So this guy goes with the dash cam. So this is the quick little lock-unlock footage, take a snapshot, microphone on, off, etc., etc. Swinging back here, this is probably the best accessory for the Honda Shadow, in my opinion, is the Mustang seat. That made a world of difference. Before, I could probably do maybe an hour on the bike before my butt started hurting, and now, man, I could ride all day. Swing it over to the rear. We have the rear camera mounted above the rear taillight. Set of Kiriak and Bandito saddlebags. I guess they're leather. I don't know. They're really soft, almost suede-ish, but they do the job. I had a smaller leather set, but just not enough room because I'm wanting to ride the bike more and more for day-to-day -day type stuff. Then underneath, I cannot remember the name, but it's basically a Velcro tie-down point so I can strap stuff to the rear seat if I need to. Swing it around to the right side of the bike. At some point in time, one of the previous owners, I don't even know if you can see that, somebody gutted this exhaust. Now, I can't tell if they recarb the bike or not. I get a, quite a bit of backfire. And deceleration so I'm guessing they didn't but it, no, no, it doesn't really seem to affect the performance at all so I haven't really messed with it and then probably the last and final thing actually no two things I'm sorry put the scoop mods four inch forward controls on the bike so they stick out about EA far which I'm 5'11 six foot right in that area and that made a big difference as well along with the Mustang seat with the factory seat, the forward controls were a little bit of a stretch, but the Mustang seat just made that so much better. And then last, we got these Kiriak and Mini floorboards, and they are probably one of my favorite mods on this bike. Just because, you know, riding for a long time, I don't have to keep my foot in one spot. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I haven't done a whole lot to it, but uh, yeah. I mean, that's a heck of a good looking bike so appreciate you guys watching uh yeah like subscribe all that good stuff and uh, i'll see you out there see you